world covered by endless water. Ah, 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 ah. People are forced to eke out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. All right, the BRB. people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilization. Originally, this was the diggers' only purpose, to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure, the legendary Mother Lode, began to be whispered among the diggers. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this mother load, diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines, ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. Despair. Charity. Greed. Hey, what's up, everybody? Power. I'm going to turn that down right now. This is Lacquerware. We are... Back or where after a soothing weekend of ignoring the news. Hope everyone's doing all right. Well, let me just tweet my arrangements to the general public. Continuing with our playthrough of Mega Man Legends. Uh, hoping to get through it this time. We're... Um, at the main gate, I've got two of the three keys, and it's sort of slipping my mind where the third one is. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay. Also, so apparently someone unearthed a previously unknown bug. At least I don't think it was known. Uh, that seems like it might actually be really useful. Um, basically, it lets you shoot your special weapon while moving, which you can't, you're not supposed to be able to do. Uh, and you can only do it with a handful of the special weapons, but it's pretty much all the ones you want to be able to do it with, I think. Um, I'm going to test it with the, actually, wait, oops, oh my god. Ah, I want gifts for roll. Anything else? Okay. Nothing. Wait, what about that Zet Saber? It's gotta be good for, good for something. Well, anyway, uh, I guess I'll try it with the drill. Can you enhance the drill? Pretty much just drills. No, you can use it as an attack. Oh wow, yeah, what the hell. Okay, so now you can just use it infinitely, that's pretty cool. So, okay, we've got two of the keys. Might need to use the keys to get the third key, I think, maybe. It's been a long time. So I've got two of the subsidy keys. If I consult my map, there's one here, and then I got the one downtown. And then an old city, I think it's... Uh, it's like behind a fence, so you can't actually get in there, but I came out of there, so maybe... Yeah, I'm gonna try and go back to the main gate. 
And if nothing else, I get a bunch of zenny out of it. My data with data. Let's see how good his intel is. Does he know how many keys I have? That would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Nah. All right. Oops. Whoa, 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 cat. Meow? <gasps> you can take it? Whoa, I just collected this cat. I don't think I ever knew you could do that. Your next bird. So is that thing gonna hang out on the flutter now? What's up, Ghost Ribbon? Nice emote. I need to get me some of those. Baby steps. I'm just trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm, I'm one key short, but I can't remember if you actually get it like through the main gate somehow. Okay, wait, so now I can try. Okay, so there's, someone discovered the top secret bug. <gasps> it works. I don't think that was a known thing, but maybe it was. Um, man, that's so easy. They, I saw a tweet over the weekend. It was just a random coincidence that it was Mega Man Legends, but um, someone figured out a bug that lets you move while using the special weapons, which is not supposed to happen. Uh, which is super useful with some of these. You can't do it with every single one, but you can do it with this one. Uh, and a few others. Including the Shining Laser, which is the strongest weapon in the game, so... Check it out. Plus I have infinite drill right now because I powered it up. So what you do is you hold forward, and then you hit, then you hit triangle, R1 or L1, and then hold triangle. And you do it all in fast succession, like you're doing a fatality. And you're holding forward the whole time. And then you can you can run around and steer and stuff. I can't believe I never heard of this until now. Yeah, I forget him. Now, okay. I think I need to go all the way down. You, well, you know... That's not covered in the game, because it's not... Uh, you'd have to up the ESRB rating. For those watching along at home, Ghost Ribbon just asked if you can use the infinite drill like Tetsuo the Iron Man. Uh, what uh, separates the mega men from the mega boys. Sexual dysfunction. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, where was that door? One of the doors had like a label on it that said, goodness gracious, I need to turn that down. <laughs> Thank you for the follow there. I just got blasted with my alert box. I hope that didn't blast you guys, but I guess it probably did. <laughs> Whew. Going 
Garcian. You've been there all along. Boo. Oh, I think it blasted me because I have the monitor turned on for just the alert box and not for my uh, actual stream audio. <laughs> So, okay, yeah, that's right. So let's let's try this new technique out, shall we? So the w hey, it worked. It's about as Tetsuo as this game gets, though. Um, more importantly, I have no need to be here. So I guess I took, I went too far down maybe. Dude. Or maybe not too far down enough. How's everyone doing this Monday Eve? Any revelations over the weekend? Suckers. Bleh. You know, I bet if I had that active buster, these guys would go down quick. I feel like there was a way to stun lock them so that they don't put their shield. Or wait, can't you, like. Oh wait, no, that's, I can't remember if that's these guys or Sniper Joe. I think there's, one of them you can shoot through the shield if you get close enough. All of my Mega Man knowledge from the last 30 years is bleeding together like a 60s flashback. A 30 year 60s flashback. Whoa. I like that. So this is, okay, this is what I was thinking of. Wait. Didn't it say, or is this the final boss room? Well, that was my biggest brightest idea. Shoot. Maybe I should check the old city out again. Dude. here. It's got to be a mimic, right? There's no way I missed this. No, it's not. I missed it. Oh, man, that. I can't believe I missed that. Get me out of here. Where's my canteen? Give 
can you can you like drill the shield or something? I feel like I'm missing something that made these guys less of a pain. Should be able to drill the shield. You got a Gengar. What is that? I can think of a better place where Mega Man can put his infinite drill that would free up. <laughs> really stuck on this. I mean, but you're not wrong. Um. Okay. I'm sorry, Roll. This was premature. Um, all right, let's try the old city. I mean, they got to save something for Mega Man Legends 3. See, where is this thing? Should be in here somewhere, right? Ah, there it is. So, like, I think I popped up there once, but who could remember how? Can I, let's see. Can I get back in if I use this? If I know my Capcom, they would let it they would let me do that. They don't let you do that. Son of a bitch. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. The three... The three stands for the three areas you can equip... <laughs> weapons on Mega Man. Mega Man Legends try. Seeing Mega Man with his helmet on is like seeing Robocop with his helmet off. You mean you must mean Volnut specifically, right? You know what would really help me is a map that shows how these things are connected. Is that so much to ask? I mean, maybe Portal 1? Because it's close. Although... Hmm. Or is this... Are the subgates only connected to other subgates? Or subcities, rather. This is a dilly of a pickle. Let me just look around the area a little more. Bah. You weren't a fan of Portal 1 or 2. Are you bringing this up because we're dealing with portals? Um, yeah, what's to the north again? Just these surly construction workers. Any of you guys have a pickaxe? I may have missed the boat on that. You guys just all say the same thing now. 
There we go. Creepy. Big list of English words derived from the Arabic, and lacquer was on it. Oh, d derived from Arabic. Lacquer is derived from Arabic, huh? Was it by way of French? Its spelling looks vaguely French to me. Let's see, what are some other ones? Let's see if I can think of any. Algebra. Um, whoa. Cat, you're back. Oh, this one I can't take, though. This one's where it belongs. What about you? Are you the same one? That's so cute. Meow meow. I mean, they couldn't have made a meow sound effect for that. Oops. I'm drawing a blank besides algebra. Is this place just sectioned off with no... Huh. How's she gonna get here? Lock. They turned that into lacquer. Roll, you gotta throw me a bone here. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's try downtown, see if that subsidy connects. Oh, I don't think the subsidies connect. I think I'd have this down by now. We got Jumper from Jubba. As in a person who jumps? Or like a jumper cable? Alright, nobody touch me, I'm just looking around. The deck. Swear to God. Yeah, I didn't think so. What about jalopy? Is that from Arabic? Just a wild guess. Doesn't even ring true to me now that I'm thinking about it. All right, my new plan is to just pick a subgate Actually, first let me refill my canteen that I wasted. Oops.
Might as well upgrade. Uh, oh man, that's pretty good. Let's put on the Kevlar. Man, I said I'd help those kids and I still haven't. But in my own way, I am helping them by preventing imminent destruction. Um, okay. Hello? So there's this. Where's this lead again? The sewer. Oh, this is just that sewer in the downtown area. So, okay. Is that in the very far north? Do you think that's a dead end or do you think that's a drill spot? Oh. Hey. Boom, boom, boom. Not gonna lie, I kinda miss using the fight stick. Just the stick part. If I could get like a stick, it's funny when I play fighting games, I always wish that I could have a D-pad with fighting game buttons, but now I wish I had a fighting game stick with PlayStation controller buttons. Yes, good. You guys are cheapskates. So this is cool. These guys are remote controlled by these guys. So if you kill these guys, oh wait, must be another source of your power. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. See, he's rendered defenseless and offenseless. So it was indeed a dead end. That means <sighs> nothing doing. Yep. Oh wait, what's through here? Oh, this is where the uh, wall I drilled down earlier spit me out. Huh. Do this the smart way. Oh, I killed him. It's 
So depending on how long it takes me to find this <laughs> this last uh, subgate, this may or may not be the gripping conclusion after all, but uh, it's okay. It's good to explore. It's an exploring game. Buster's gotten a lot stronger for sure. No, I never got that vacuum gun though. I wonder where that's hiding. Uh, let's see where this spits me out. I would love if this took me to the exact place I need to go. Oh hey, thanks for stopping in. Uh, understood. You know, it could be a while before I actually get to the next story point because I'm still <laughs> trying to find uh, where I'm going. But, totally understand. Now, where the heck? If you made it this long without having Mega Man Legends spoiled for you, then I would hate to be the one to spoil it. Still finding new stuff in the walls. Oh god, this. Probably gonna find something good here. Looks like I haven't been here yet.
You reckon this is basically just Metal Gear Solid? More shooting? Not sure I see it. But I want to. Whoa. <laughs> it almost seems like an intentional, like, secret control. Some of the other weapons look way weirder when he does it. But with the drill, it looks totally natural. Look at that. Not the best range on the drill, but cool in theory. Crawling through holes and ducts, dealing with sentries. Well, you don't really do any crawling, though. I guess there, yeah, I guess either there you do crawl through the holes to. It's implied that you crawl. That is true. Hey. I knew it. Why I ought If you hurry back to the van near the beginning, you can see Roll doing sit-ups through <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of people who would be down for that. Not really my thing, though. Alright, let's not leave yet until we've scoured this area. It's gonna wanna reset all the enemies. Ugh. Remind me to fill out my map better. Really doing a bad job of that. Uh, let's go left. Yep, look at this. left Uh. 
All right, let's, man, this is such a useful trick, actually. shard um now let me think what if this connects Ah, this place. Well, this... Huh. This probably won't lead to where I need to be. I think it might be time to Google it, since I'm on the stream. Here's what the forum says. Random forum I found. First go back to the main gate and go out that door where that wolf reaper bot was. And you find yourself outside of town. Wait, outside, uh, you find yourself outside in town, old town or city or whatever. Why can't I read? And you should find yourself inside the gate. Uh, so I was so close to the right track earlier. Well, this exp exploration has been good, though. I found a bunch of good stuff. Okay, well, I'll explore a little more, and then I'll get back to it. There's, like, one other big door that I wanted to check out. Does this break? Kind of looks like it should. And crush us all. I get this. I didn't. Man. Oh, I haven't been through here either. Glad I turned back. Pen light. Those have a million uses. Seriously though, I don't remember what that's for. I'm kind of curious. Still think this game has one of the best maps in gaming. It's just so easy to read. It's up there with like the Metroid games and the well, the post-Metroid Metroid games. Oh, this is the other side of that same place. That makes sense. That makes good sense. There was a website called the Mega Man homepage I used to check out back in like 2000. It's still there with almost the exact same layout. I salute the websites like that, that not only survived, but have changed nothing. They're like, no, we had it right. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I haven't heard of that one, though. We spent a lot of time on the Mega Man network. Some 
some swell folks over there. They were very underst understanding throughout the various ordeals surrounding this IP. And 20 years ago, so that was like before even Battle Network was really a thing, huh? This was just a random shot in the dark c coming to this gate, but it turned out to have a bunch of stuff I'd, I'd missed, so... Ta-da! Looks like I pulled a homer! Um... to move through here, go up the nearest ladder. I feel like you could make a cool remaster of this game nowadays. Can roll come out here? That's really all I want. Yes. Created in 1994 and first posted to the public in 95. 95. Man. Serious veterans. I don't think, I think 1995 was the year that I used the internet for the first time. And I was a little ahead of the curve because of my computer nerd brother. <laughs> Who am I love? Uh, let's see. So, I gave you a saber, and you couldn't do anything with it. But then I added a pen light, and you said, oh, I can make you a sword. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth. What the f roll? Uh, let's let's throw it on. That was it. I don't even remember this weapon. It means it's probably not very good. Really nickel and diamond me here. Classic Crapcom. I remember trying to make websites with like GeoCities and Tripod. I had a Tripod website for uh, <laughs> my favorite slasher movies. 
I was a pretty edgy 12 year old. That was before I discovered the magic of uh, Mega Man Legends. I mean, it was pretty cool discovering, like, very late to the party, discovering the movie Halloween because it was on TV. That movie, like, half holds up, I feel. Oh, wait, no. No, I wasn't. Sorry, Roll. Please come all the way back. Sailor Moon website. I mean, my HTML never really improved beyond what I could do in 1997 on Tripod. I never really kept up with it. Mm. Favorite Halloween is 4 or 5, which everyone has... Tina, the brunette best friend of the blonde lady who is like the legal guardian of the little girl. I think that's five. I think the little girl one is five. I I would love to know why, because I tried to sit through four and five, and it was... I found it... Uh, painful. A little painful. But one and two even don't I don't think that they totally hold up. I think they kinda hold up. Like I think Michael Myers is scary in the first one. Uh and Jamie Lee Curtis is really likable, as always. Um But like almost all the other actors are pretty iffy. Um except Donald Pleasance, of course. They really leaned on him a lot for like to lend an air of credibility to everything else. Which was like a tactic with a lot of B movies, you get one like classically trained Shakespearean guy to like carry everything. Army of Darkness did that too. That was like my f favorite movie growing up, Army of Darkness. And there's like two actors who completely stand out because <laughs> they're clearly like classically trained. It's like the two kings. That al well, it also had Embeth Davids, who, uh, like, shortly after Army of Darkness, she was in Schindler's List. <laughs> it's, like, quite a career upgrade. And, sh and then she was in, like, the Matilda movie. Didn't really see her much after that, though. Favorite mainstream horror franchise is Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, those are fun. I feel like those are a lot more fun than uh, Halloween. Four is just a rem remake of one. Three is fun. Halloween three, I was way late to the party too because I was turned off as a kid because it didn't have Michael Myers. But then, like all my old coworkers were really into it, like half ironically, half genuinely, you know, and. Uh, they finally sat me down and watched it, and it was, it's fun. But two, Halloween two is like, are you talking about Nightmare? Cause Nightmare two is real interesting. They just put out a documentary about it on um, Shudder, and how the the lead was kind of like thrown under the bus. Uh, when they made a gay uh, a movie with like very obvious gay subtext and then denied it and he kind of became this laughing stock in a very homophobic time in Hollywood and he confronts the writer and director uh oh this is where i want to go yeah Yep. 
1998, yeah, 1998, H2O came out. Oh, <laughs> you'd wake up to the... <laughs> yeah, that's a creepy p trailer to wake up to in the middle of the night. I was That was exactly when I was, like, obsessed with that genre of movie, so I was, like, super excited for H2O. And it was, like, it was definitely the best Halloween, probably since the first or second one. But it's just kind of whatever. <laughs> it was cool to have Jamie Lee Curtis back. I always thought the name H2O was super random and bad. It's like it's a play on words apropos of absolutely nothing. So wait, isn't this? Now I'm confused. This is where I want to be, isn't it? You have to go inside this. Oh, do you go? Is there, ah, tricky. I think it's pretty great. Three, one, and two. I, I would agree with that order for Nightmare. I mean, I love 2, actually, because it stands out on its own. Sorry, I'll let Roll talk. Or Tron. Sorry, I can barely hear the audio. She's so friendly. Thanks for waiting, Teasel. Let's go. Everyone ready? We're moving out. It's <laughs> a little friendly competition. To the death. Man, this fight. I, I forgot all about this. Well, the, oh man. I thought we were going to get a seamless transition for the second for a second there and I was about to be very impressed. Yeah, so the horror movies. I so um Laser Time does a podcast uh where they like every, once a year around Halloween where they'll like review or not review but they'll they'll like do an episode on each uh movie in a specific series it started with nightmare on elm street uh and around that same time i watched through the whole nightmare on elm street series with some friends uh and so i <laughs> like done a lot of thinking about that series and um yeah i think like uh wes craven did some cool stuff because um, you kind of forget about it now, but um, originally they didn't reveal in the marketing what the movie was about. They didn't show Freddy. It was really vague. And they also made it look like, uh, what's her face? Um, the blonde, the blonde girl uh, was like 
the protagonist. She was on a lot of the marketing materials. And then she has that horrifying, gruesome death, like, in the first act, you know? And um, that was a nod to Psycho, which did the same thing with Janet Lee. And, uh, and then they did it again with Scream. And new people kept falling for it. I totally fell for it with Scream. I was horrified the first time I saw Scream. I had to walk out of the theater because I was so scared. I didn't even know... And Scream was supposed to be kind of funny. And that, and that was also, like, where Wes Craven got super meta. Where it's like a horror movie about horror movies. And people obsessed with them. But they did the same thing with Drew Barrymore. Where you think she's one of the lead stars. And then... She has this horrifying death in like the first 10 minutes. Spoilers. Uh, it was also more. Uh, it was also more gory than I thought you were even allowed to show in a movie. Like there's like two shots of intestines that like I'd never seen that in a movie before, so I was shocked. But they didn't, they didn't say what the movie was about in, in the early trailers. They didn't show Ghostface. And so I was expecting it to be like a semi-comedic like murder mystery where you're trying to guess like who done it and you've got nutty characters like uh, what's his face? Uh, Courtney Cox's husband. David Arquette. Um... And it did have some of that, but, it, like, the, the scary stuff was really scary. And Nightmare kind of did the same thing. Uh, in fact, that movie also gets pretty nutty. Like, toward the end, it starts to feel like Home Alone. Before Home Alone. Um. Whoa. Officer Dewey, yeah. Yeah, then that, that Ghostface Killer costume became, like, a huge hit. I, I went probably that year or the next year, and then probably a few years in a row as the Ghostface Killer. Yeah, it was just that opening scene. I Like, I went in, like, totally unprepared for that level of, like... And it's funny, because I, I wasn't particularly, like sheltered as far as movies. I grew up watching stuff like Robocop uh, like when I was way too young. I think I was just like n not expecting Scream to actually be scary and it was way... I mean that opening scene is still pretty spooky like j just the whole setup. Um, so yeah it got me good. I'm not even embarrassed about it. I think it's speaks to the quality of that scene. I don't think that the movie as a whole has aged that well, but that scene still gets me. And I would, I would say the same about uh, Nightmare. Like, I think that that scene where she's like floating around the room getting cut up is still really horrific, but really no other part of the movie is very scary, except maybe the uh, where she's uh, like in the body bag being dragged. It's a spooky moment. Oh man, he's gonna get me, isn't he? These dive rolls are a little hard to nail because your button presses have to be really clean. The, you have to hit you know, the bumper and the D pad. Oh wait. Not, and a bumper and a jump button at the same time. And then there's these. Crap. Oh god. Not what I needed. Also, I suppose the sword was a bad pick for this. But then, yeah, New Nightmare got really meta, and I, in hindsight, I look at that as like a proto-scream. Like he was starting to experiment with like meta horror.
Nobody ever cared what I watched, so I would watch stuff like Night of the Living Dead remake and Bed to Fall Asleep too. Yeah, that one scared me pretty good too back in the day. Good luck. Baby's Kids. Underrated. I like that movie. I like those kids. Alright, well, if I pack an actual useful weapon, this fight should be fine. Making a website called Kaidon or Quaidon because I think horror movie sites are super garish and filled with too much nonsense. So you want to make like a non-garish horror website? Is that is that what you're saying? That'd be cool. Yeah, you know, there, I think there's like sort of a uh, the the prevailing culture of the horror fandom isn't necessarily appealing to all types of horror fans. Although there's sort of this new like sub genre slash sub community of horror that's more like prestige films, you know, like the hereditaries and the or hereditaries and the witches or the witches. All the A24 stuff. What I like about Shudder is that it it tries to hit everyone, like as broad a range of horror fans as possible. There's a really good selection. Let's see here. I feel like the active buster never does me wrong. Can I enhance it? Expensive. Oh. Yeah, I never got to see the Buffy movie. I never really watched the show either, but I saw like an episode or two and I hated this style of the the dialogue. It's got that really snappy like rapid fire back and forth like everyone's always trying to out snap each other I kind of can't stand that and it's like a Joss Whedon staple ah uh, like horror <laughs> horror culture and stoner culture yeah, I mean, that's that's just, like, part of it. Um, but I see what you mean. Like, a lot of times you'll be watching a movie that looks interesting in one sense, but then it feels like they had to shoehorn some quota in to appease, like, some section of the audience. There was like a, a puppet master. Wait, did I save? I can never remember if I actually hit the button. It was a puppet master reboot uh, that they got on Shudder. And I was like, oh yeah, I thought those movies were kind of cool back in the day. But it was just so over the top, like senseless killing. It was like they set up a story and then like 40 minutes or an hour through, it's just like a string of like murder sequences in this hotel where puppets are just butchering random hotel patrons or guests uh, for like just because they happen to be there you know and it doesn't advance the story in any way it's just like you know scene after scene of these like gruesome deaths and I'm like yeah I don't know like when I was like 11 or 12 I might have love this but like you know it no longer like gore alone isn't inherently like joyful for me <laughs> I 
feel like you gotta earn it. You know, it's like in Hereditary. That movie's got some gore. But it's, you're, you're not supposed to watch Hereditary and be like, awesome! You know, <laughs> like when something horrible happens, it's supposed to like have like leave you stunned. I want to be stunned. And think about stuff. But that's you know, I mean, I, I guess I went through that period too. But it was it was like a phase. It wasn't like a lifelong fascination. It was like a part of growing up. I felt. But not everyone is that way. I mean, I'm sitting here playing the same video game that I liked when I was 14, so it's like... <laughs> who could talk? They made a Child's Play movie where the main character is played by the voice actor, the doll. Is that the Curse of Chucky? I saw one of the recent ones and it was like, not bad for what it's trying to be, but it, it felt, it felt inconsequential, I guess. Like weird to reboot something after so long and then just do like another, so yeah, it's about a doll that killed you. <laughs> but whatever, I mean, I guess they're serving a, I mean, it was like, it was like the Mega Man 11 of Child's Play movies. That's what it was. Having the voice actor's daughter be the main character while the voice actor of the doll still voices the doll was amusing. Oh, that's interesting. Must have been awkward on set. Dad, did you mean all that stuff you said in character? Yes. <laughs> For the last time, yes. Never saw the Hellraiser movies. Be like, the hell thing is kind of a, it's kind of lost on me. I, like, if, to me, it's a silly concept. <laughs> I feel like, oh my god, come on. I feel like the scariest thing a movie can do uh, is like, what the the grudge and jewel movies did which is just have a face peering at you horribly where no face should be that's the scariest thing that can happen is you look and there's a face <laughs> oh my god am I crazy or is this thing like thrice as aggressive as last time Tell me I have the canteen. Okay, good. So this active buster isn't really doing me any huge favors, is it? What the? I don't know. Okay, these things you can just run from. Ah! Serious recovery time is pretty severe with some of these. Ugh! This is going very, very badly. The gun did not help much at all. I didn't realize how short the range was, but I guess it's because I haven't been able to afford upgrading it. 
And then, let's see, we were talk you were talking about Friday the 13th being boring. Yeah, I kind of agree. Um, the first one has its moments, but I don't, I don't know. Like, not really. I could take or leave. I feel like from, like, in terms of directing and staging and stuff, I feel like the ha Halloween 1 is probably the best of the bunch. I like all the subtle scares where he's just looming in the background. And it's not really that gratuitous. I mean, that movie kind of gets it. Like, the scariest thing about Halloween is just seeing that face, you know, looming there. Or like in the background of the shot. Not, none of the violence is nearly as scary as that scene where he does the sit up in the background while Laurie's in the front in the foreground. But yeah, like the grudge, like it's such a cheap tactic, but they, it's just that over and over. It's just episodes of like that horrible woman and that horrible kid like just like showing up to peer at you with wide eyes and then you and then the people are just presumed dead after that. <laughs> the one that gets me is the attic one. Where like a lady hears something weird in the attic so she pokes her head up there and then the ghost lady is like right next to her. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, can I bust those uh foot bomb things? Ah I feel like I got off to a, the worst possible start with this attempt. Whoa. Like, the manual aim is... a little janky. Ugh. He's like not aiming where I'm pointing all the time. Seems to be randomly firing up for some reason. Ooh, very close. Hellraiser isn't about hell. It's about blurring the line between pleasure and pain or something. Oh, maybe I'll check it out. <laughs> Pulse is one of the scariest movies and you barely see anything. Yeah, yeah. I think we talked about that before. Good luck. I think if you're depressed, it's terrifying. Um... American Ring was scary when it came out, but I rewatched it recently and thought it was kind of blarg. Yeah, I believe that. Uh, honestly, you could probably say the same for the original Ring. 
Do the Grudge Jewel movies ever cover the house existing outside of linear time? The TV show kept hinting at that, but I don't recall much about the Grudge franchise. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, you know, like, I'm pretty fuzzy on the overarching, like, like how it works. You never liked OG Ring. Rented Ring on VHS. That's the way to watch it. I couldn't make it through the whole movie the first time I got bored. It's it's definitely a slow burn thing. It's it's basically all building to that last moment, um, and that's why you know they, I think that they knew that wouldn't fly in Hollywood, and that's why they added a bunch of stuff like the scary death faces, like where it smash cuts to people who died horribly, and like the horse scene, which was just not in the original at all. But yeah, honestly, like, uh, it's easy to scoff at the Hollywood remakes of foreign films, but I think they did a pretty good job with Ring. Um, honestly, I don't think The Grudge is any worse than uh, any of the Jewel movies, either. In fact, it's mo it's largely just a remake of like an assortment of scenes from the existing ones with more money and like honestly the worst thing about the Japanese ones is that uh, they look a little cheap and you can like the ghosts look like they're wearing makeup in some of the scenes and so like they got the same actor to play the the, the ghost and it's the same director so there's not much more you could ask for. I also think that they're like, I mean, you could argue that not every movie in America has to be centered around a white American, <laughs> but if that was like their criteria for the remake, I think they did a decent job with that, like in terms of a believable story about foreigners in Japan. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call it a good movie, but like, I wouldn't call any of the Jones good movies, really. <laughs> In fact, it, they're so episodic. Uh, it's pretty hit or miss throughout the series, I feel. This time... Alright, I'm getting too close. Gah. Man, screw those things. So the reason he's kicking my ass so much in the start is that he's got all these accoutrements that I'm... Oh god. This pulse is also a slow burn. It's not boring at all. Hmm. I, I mean, it might be a mood thing. Because I thought pulse... I fell asleep the first time I saw Pulse, and then I saw it again when I was, like, ready to receive that kind of movie, and was, like, struggling with isolation a lot, and it was, like, I felt like it, I was, like, captivated, you know, I felt like I couldn't look away. But, uh, it's a more, it, it, that's also a more philosophical movie, I think, than Ring. So maybe, I mean, I don't know. It's been a little bit since I saw, oh, I did just rewatch Ring Zero a couple days ago. 
and uh, it's kind of like, eh, meh. That movie also basically has like one big payoff. Um, it's pretty cool, but I don't know. Like the story is a little silly. Still feel like they try too hard to like explain things. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like an origin story for a ghost. Well, I, I guess it can be compelling, but like, uh, in Ring's case, because like there's also Ring Two, which is like trying to explain it scientifically. Well, here's why, and that was downright silly. Whereas, so Rasen, which was the original sequel that bombed is actually pretty interesting because that's that's more of a philosophical angle that takes it to its logical end which is the apocalypse by ring virus you know the idea that like well if this thing spreads virally we're gonna we're basically eventually doomed and now we're on our way The, the prequel Ring Zero is like a a love story and they don't really convincingly show why this guy was in love with this tortured young woman who turns into the ghost we all know and love. <laughs> oh god. Oh cool. Man, this is going much worse than I expected, to be honest. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> oh God, nope. Stay back. I'm having so much trouble with those bombs. I can't seem to get a shot at there because it's stupid hand. Yeah. Missiles are kind of a non-issue. These bombs are a huge issue. If I can figure out how to get those out early on, it might make for a completely different fight because then I can basically take him head on and put him out of his misery. Shit. Shit. Whoop. Damn it. Hey, double escapement. Master the rolling dodge. Yeah, you'd think that, but I keep dying nevertheless. I'll get there. Good luck. Maybe I just need to, like, go guns blazing straight at those foot cannons, those foot bomb thingies. Yeah, I've played it before. Um, I, you know, I play it every few years, and I always come back forgetting stuff. Uh, I do vaguely remember this being one of the harder fights. But, like, my damage output, like, when I actually hit him, is decent. Like, I just need to work on my offense, I guess. Like hitting him more frequently. I think the key to that is going to be getting rid of those foot bomb launchers.
Oops. See, I had also remembered the boat part being really hard and frustrating, but this time it was super easy and fast. And I think the difference was that I upgraded my buster early on. Because it was like, yeah, pretty, pretty painless. One attempt. I've just been through this area so many times and I keep dying at this guy, so I don't want to like waste any time grinding money. Plus, I'm not going to go for the shining laser. This I'm going to I'm going to see if I can beat it without doing that cuz it's just so much uh farming. Ah. Yeah, I haven't quite mastered it. It's a it's annoyingly hard to hit those buttons perfectly simultaneously, you know. Oh shit. Man, he's most dangerous at the very beginning. Don't you know? I want those footsies. Missiles. That's close. Must, uh, yeah, he's like auto aiming at things that I don't want him to aim at. Can you turn that off? I would. Ooh, yeah. Even just one of them would be a huge help. Hide behind the subgate entrance. Hmm. Lock. You're talking about this lock on here? Auto lock on engage with R2. So wait. No, but there's like... So there's, when you hold R2, you lock on. But he's also like randomly targeting parts when I'm just shooting. Like I'm just trying to shoot in a straight line at these feet. And look at that, that one shot went up. Ah. Way to God, Bruno. And like now he's not aiming for the back like he was a second ago. It's just really particular about where you're positioned, I guess. Yeah. If anyone asks why they never picked Mega Man up off the moon, this is probably why. Unreliable. That's the stuff. Okay, I'm all out. Alright, action. Yeah, like him, his auto aim is really screwing me. I'm trying to hit those feet. Oh, 
Alright, we're getting there though. Basically got him downloaded. <clears throat> right, you can sort of like do a drive-by here and like spray and pray and if not hit him in the feet at least get a couple shots on his belly. Come on, dude. You call yourself a Volnut? Oof. Man, that totally looked like it was gonna hit me. Alright, got one. Now that he's almost dead. I'm begging you to aim well. Alright. It's the end of that. Well, all's well that ends well. Okay, blue boy. I must know. What's your name? Me? My name is Mega Man. Mega Man Volnut. Mega Man, is it? You know, I've been in this business a long time. But this is the first time anyone's ever given me this much trouble. Yet, it feels good somehow being beaten by you like this. Almost as though I've I can face the facts. I lost you one. I'm gonna try to forget this entire incident. Yeah, I do think that's one of those things that they polished a lot in uh in time for the sequel. Yeah, we were talking about that on one of the other streams. Like, I think that Legends 2 was more ambitious and it was more polished, but there's something about the seamless... Maybe seamless is the wrong word, because there are, like... There are technically seams, but, like, having one big open world that's completely connected uh, kind of has its own charm that the sequel lost. But I find it hard to, like... I mean, I was also way late to the party with 2. Like, I, I played this one when I was a teenager. Like, in the late 90s. And then I didn't play Legends 2 until I was, like, 27 or something. <laughs> so, like, the moment had passed. But, uh... Wait, did I get the key for that? For my troubles? Did I even get the key? Now oh, I can probably check my inventory. No, I didn't. So, what have I learned? But yeah, it's it's hard for me to say definitively that like one is better than the other. Or do I go here now? Cuz I think they kind of stand on different merits and they're both totally worth playing. Oh man, I really should save. I Oh crap. Man, that's cruel that they'd... Uh, well, I also wasn't listening to the cutscene, so I don't know if I missed something, but... 
I could sure have used a recharge and a save point. And I could have just gone and done it. I guess it was my fault for going into the big scary subgate. Yeah, it's really cool how um, the island is all connected and like the underground uh, ruins actually connect in a way that makes sense to the, I think, to the above ground stuff. That was really clever. And they, and they replicated that in Dead Rising, which is the same director. It has the same thing. There's an underground tunnel network that connects all the above ground stuff. So if you it like really rewards you for learning the map. <clears throat> Misadventures of Trombone is also totally worth playing. I was lucky to uh, play it back when it came out. My friends, because by that point I was like my friends and I were pretty into this game, and uh, I had a birthday, so they all pulled their money and got me Trombone. Because we like the serve bots. And the game is great. It's like five games in one. And the you, there's like a whole tr uh, serve bot management uh, like, like overarching game where you like manage them in your central hub. And that's like, that's probably the best part of the game. But the, like all of the mini, not mini games, but like all of this, the separate types of game are are pretty good. And some of them are great. Well, this area is actually not very threatening. It doesn't even have the uh, predators that were in some of the other areas. Ah, is that it? No. Yeah, <laughs> this is. A this is probably the safest subgate to stumble into by accident. If it works like the other ones, then there must still be someone here. Now how is it that you go underground? Or are you not going underground? Where are we? These sub cities, are they in are we in space? It was like a portal to space. Now you got these things. never actually like made sense of what was going on. I tend to do that with games. I like just focus on what you have to do from a gameplay standpoint and don't pay attention to like the narrative implications. It's not going to show me this area, is it? Okay. So 
I'll just take a peek. That it? Yeah. There. Oops. This should be. So we're just on like a fun ride. It's like the Outer Limits roller coaster at King's Dominion. Actually, before I call roll. Let's uh, uh refill my canteen. I love being downtown in the Apple Market. I wish there was like another game set here where you could like do more stuff downtown. Just like chill, build your own house here. It's not worth it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do all the side stuff. I've probably already missed some of it. I was trying to find that pickaxe to give to the kids in the clubhouse. And uh, I couldn't find the right construction worker. And now I, I don't know if I missed my opportunity. I did some of the TV stuff. And I've been giving Roll. Um, oh, she loves me. Um, I've been giving Roll all the little gifts, but um, I'm uh wait. Yeah. I just gave her the. What's the last thing I gave her? Trying to blank, but I gave her something and now I'm out of things to give her and I don't know where to find them. Help build the right. You know, maybe I will do some of them. If you can guide me, because I don't remember most of them. <laughs> oh, there's an artist around here somewhere that you can, like, tell to add red to something and then, like, saves her life. I forget. This is this is pretty ice cold. Some talent. I like that it defaults to that too. I'm fresh out of red, which is why I haven't been using it. I suppose it is a little flat. But there's nothing wrong with this cold in it either. She's on yeah, okay, so she needs red. How do I give her red? And then there's police station stuff, is that, uh... The hospital? Oh yeah. Is there ho oh yeah, isn't there- man, I'm forgetting about all the side stuff. <coughs> I basically haven't done much of anything. It's 
suppose I should take my time a little more. Got it. Oh god. Oh. Are you from another island? I wish I could have hints too. But just you wait and see. Yeah, go ahead and drop me some hints. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to figure it all out myself. Okay. I said yes. So how does this work? You have to leave and come back? Or can you just... Kinda sad there isn't an FF7 wall market style side quest with the drag. Yeah, this is a good it's like a it's it's a it's enough of an RPG to I think recommend to people looking for an RPG to play. Do 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 I've spent almost no time uptown. Oh, that's for the vacuum, isn't it? Where is the police? Oh, police stations in city, uh, the city hall area, right? And this is the, the game company that I think prevented this game from uh, getting on PSN for a while. A Resident Evil name drop. Whoa. <clears throat> you can get some artifacts from the TV station games. Kicking the balls of the dog. I did that one. Um, oh, I haven't been grinding for money though. Well, Jano, but you're back. Oh, I didn't realize I was you <laughs> talking earlier. Really. Sorry, I should look at these names better. Pickaxe dude should be just outside the city hall entrance in downtown. Let's see. That's uh that's north, right? Does it have to be when th the the uh, buildings are still being repaired? It's not here. Is it this guy? I don't know, this is a guy I always think is wearing a hard hat, but he's not. Well, let's go to the market. I think the clubhouse one might expire sooner. Let's see. Who has my lipstick? Well, while I'm here, gotta kick the can.
I think I would have this down to a science by now, but I'm a very slow learner. If there's one lesson life has taught me repeatedly and I've finally learned, it's that I'm a slow learner. Whoa. Hip bone, you look like you have lipstick. Some used lipstick. Much obliged. Pickaxe dude in front of the bank. Let's see. That's uh, that's in the uh, city hall area, right? Oh wait, this is uptown. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, let's see if I can nail out or nail a bunch of these uh subquests real quick. I'll call it a subquest dash. Where dash is an acronym. It's the buzz. Where's that bank? Is I wrong about the bank? Isn't it uh, down here somewhere? Bank. Oh wait, you said front of the bank. Yeah. I'm just curious who this guy is. Looks like he's wearing a hard hat. And he just got a date with the banker. I did that once. Didn't work out. Um, you there. Sweet. All right. Um, is there any reason to continue to visit City Hall after you've repaired everything? That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, it's a bluesy tune for the boys in blue. You get what they've done here? Just like they used the Blue Note. They featured the Blue Note prominent, prominently in Blues' theme in Mega Man 3. <clears throat> Kid with a yellow face. <coughs> uh, the Sir Bots.
Oh. The greenhouse. Is that not the greenhouse in question? Let's see. You don't have to tell me. Well. Nice. Oh, it's different every time. That's interesting. I should have saved. That's uh, that's concerning because I didn't. Ah. No! Bogus. Well, I think I'm just going to move on. So, it's over, right? Don't recall. Wanted to see about that pregnant woman you mentioned. You said she was around here somewhere? Oh, behind the flutter. Meaning this way? This is probably not her, but I would say sup. Madam.
No sign. Go this way. Hello. Okay, I'll check the fruit sand. Wait, where's the? F Is this the cat I saved earlier? Charge. Machine Buster. Where's the, wait, where's the, um, fruit stand again? Yeah, I've seen the Easter egg in the comic store. Maybe I'll hit that up on the way back. said to the right ah oh this poor woman Let's see if she gets better just keep an eye on it Okay, well that's done. That's 
it. That's perfect. That's exactly what it needed. Thank you so much. Oh, would you look at the time? I better be going. <laughs> I guess that's that. Do I get something out of that? Or was the objective just to get rid of her? Okay, so I did that. Hospital seems to be... I don't know how I like how I progressed the thing with that little girl in the wheelchair. Visit museum and donate stuff. Oh, that's right. what this is This tune. Thanks to you, I was able to finish my painting. I just paint for fun in my spare time. My real job is here, working as the curator. Why don't you take a look around? I know there's not much here, but wait, you're a digger, aren't you? If you find anything interesting on one of your digs, could you bring it here and show it to me? If it's really good, I could display it here. You will? I didn't agree to that. Thanks. Midriff. What's that you've got there? It looks... <laughs> there it is. I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. What? Did you really find that underground? If you did, it's an incredible discovery. I wonder what something like this would be doing underground. Oh well, why don't we call it a human dog? It could be someone's idea of a joke, but why don't we put it on display? Thank you so much. I bet there are a lot of people. Box who come air to on G string. On G string? I guess he couldn't have foreseen the invention of G strings. Is it okay if I put this on display? Thank you so much. I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. The voice acting in this game often sounds like a show for toddlers. Oh my! Is that a crystal fossil? Do you know what that is? Those are made when a Weaverbot's body crystallizes over the centuries. They're considered grade three national treasures. It would mean so much to me if you'd let me display that here. Please. 
<laughs> All right. Man, I got a lot of crap. That's an antique shield. Relics like that are classified as grade two national treasures. Some Reaver bot was probably using it to protect itself. You'll let me put it on display, won't you? Thank you so much. I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. Yeah, this is <laughs> odd dress code for a museum, to be sure. Look at it. It's so beautiful the way the light goes through that translucent red. These are grade one oh, yeah. national treasures. There have been lots of diggers who disappeared in the dungeons looking for these. I bet that none of them were encased in metal. Attraction for any museum. Would it really be all right if I put it on display here? <laughs> Thank you so much. I bet there are a lot of people who'll come to see this. Wait, couldn't we have just done this in bulk? You're a digger, right? You tell me there's still you more I have to find for her. Bring it here and show me. Hi, hi. Uh, no, I don't actually collect lacquerware, although I would if I had more money. <laughs> Alright, so I did that. Let's go back to the hospital, see about visiting that girl. Hardest thing to get is the technical challenge butt prize in the racing game. I have I've done some of the racing stuff, but not all of it. I'm a little scared. Hey, where were I? Ah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait. Modern equipment. He's a uh... okay. Saying so, is this Mega Man dude a dude in armor, or is he still robot mostly? They do show him outside of the armor in the sequel. He's like he shows up in an apron, suggesting that he's a dude. But I don't know. There's more than meets the eye to this kid. So you have to talk to the dude. Okay, wait. I read that. I'll do respect to Ematsu-san, but I wonder why we don't hear more Bach in video game soundtracks. Yeah. I don't know. I think they probably shy away from using public domain. What's it like on other islands? Have you been to many other places? You know, as soon as my leg gets better. Although, uh, the sequel has Vivaldi. Alright, so I need to get her some modern tech. Like a Zet Saber, or what? Actually, I guess in this canon, the Zet Saber is like a thousand years old, isn't it? I'm 
go tell the mayor. Ah, that's actually pretty logical. I basically fully funded their city, so it's the least they could do. I forget where you hear the Vivaldi. I think it's on like a ship or something, isn't it? I've only played through Legends 2 once, uh, twice, but like within days of each other. So I didn't, because I was on the uh, Game Informer Super Replay in 2012, and I was playing it on my PSP a step ahead of what we were, like a step ahead of where we were on the show. So like, uh, my memories are pretty fuzzy now. That was eight years ago. That was a long ass while ago. Much has transpired. Some of it unforgivable. Just kidding. Um, I'm trying to go City Hall, yeah. North. Yeah, I used to yeah, I used to work at Capcom. You may remember me from the Mega Man Legends 3 project short-lived campaign it's disastrous um mayor mayor mccheese help me out here yeah yeah with brelston and antista those guys Fifteen thousand zenny? I'd pay for that with my pocket money. Should probably fix that house I blew up. How come she doesn't get VO saying thank you so much? In the most hilarious way possible. Oh, you were in the dev room. Cool. Let me fangirl in my grief for a moment. <laughs> well, I'm glad we found each other again. Because, you know, I will say that as traumatic as that experience was at times, uh, going back and playing the games that do exist is still always a joyful experience for me. And, um... I think that says a lot because um, those were some hard times and uh, to be able to go back and, and not just have have the experience poisoned by those memories is, is uh, I think it speaks to the the quality of this work and and how charming and uplifting it is. Because I know people that worked at Capcom who were so... They had such a hard time working on this game or that. Oh, thank you for the follow. Um, that they uh, they had to... step Like, when the game finally launched, they had to, like, step away and not actually play it when it launched. Because it was just too tied to the memory of working on it. <laughs> and granted, it's been a long time since Legends 3 happened. But, uh, yeah... It's good to it's good to be here in this place. Now, okay, so I did that. Presumably, the woman, the girl's gonna get her care now. Yeah, these faces uh, are like they're so much more expressive than anything else going on on the PS one on the PS one because they had all these. Uh, bespoke facial expression and textures and that and like they were even able to do lip flap when that was basically not a thing in any game like even MGS which was so it seems so hyper realistic at the time 
uh, maybe realistic is the wrong term, but it was like cinematic. It was like playing a movie and yet like they couldn't do whip flap. They just did, they had these weird head convulsions. <laughs> Oh, you bought. You were one of the people that bought a 3DS for MML3. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Like, at least the 3DS turned out to be a great machine with a great library. Um, but I, th I mean, I think that was probably a major part of the problem was that, mm, like, at that time the 3DS wasn't out yet, and it was just a big question mark. Um, and same for the eShop when they came up with the prototype uh, plan to to sell the prototype as a gauge of viability, which was a stupid idea. <laughs> um, okay, let's go back uptown. But yeah, like no, and it was, I mean, to begin with, it was weird to announce the game when it wasn't greenlit and it wasn't f like far enough along to really show anything for a system that wasn't out yet. You know, it was like, I think that was what really sh shot us in the foot was the initial announcement. Uh, and in hindsight, I kind of wonder if that was the point. and then the fans were all just caught in the middle. <clears throat> but yeah, the three, I mean, the 3DS has a tremendous library. I still pick it up once in a while. Um, what am I trying to do? The hospital. Make me check in again. Hey, Mega Man! Look, look, I can the game. The nurse told me that you bought them a machine to fix my leg. Thank you. It's only fifteen thousand dollars for a leg fixing machine. Oh, again! Send her back. Just kidding. Wait, just. Come back and see me again. What is that? Is that an accent that exists? I'm still stuck on again. Yeah, it was that was a huge value add that it played regular DS games. That's probably my favorite handheld library. The DS was hot in Japan. When I lived there, that was the one system that everyone had. It didn't like they cuz they found a way to market it to non-gamers. And so like I mean, you just saw it everywhere. Young women on the subway would be using it to study English, you know, because they had like they had all these like educational apps and like, uh, I mean, yeah, things that would now be cell phone apps were on the on the DS, and it had this sort of like cosmopolitan clamshell design. Uh, it, it was just everywhere, so there there was a ton of support for it, uh, and it wasn't region locked. Now I freelance, uh, basically doing similar stuff for other people. A weird mix of translation and community management, social media management. Uh, 
Okay, so I saved the fruit stand guy's wife. Is that is that the end of that quest line? It's basically just save the guy's wife. Some of these I don't think I've ever done, actually. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give Roll that pearl. I assume it's for her. Baby behind the counter in the bank shop? Junk shop. Oh, there's another police. Okay, well, let me go save. And then maybe I'll hitch a ride back to City Hall. I really screwed the pooch with that uh, bomb bomb squad mission. Oh, you don't want the pearl? Oh, is that for huh? Is that for the museum? Oh. Gatling gun. Yeah, I like this roll design a lot. Let's actually look at my buster parts. It's been a while. So, okay, you got this Gatling gun. Wow. So wait, oh wait, the machine gun. Gatling gun actually goes down, huh? Oh, I can't try it out here. Um, well, I'm sure it's fine. You gotta like check in and then can I just go back in right now? It's so quaint that this is how their hardened detective talks. <laughs> oh, the poor fellow is saving money to make a house. Wait, in the lobby? You there. Freeze! <laughs> Is this gonna be a goose chase where you go to the electronic shop and then they tell you it's somewhere else?
electronic shop. That's uh, they don't mean the junk shop, do they? Ah. Wait, did that say eclectic? <laughs> there we go. Something to eat. It could be anything. Let's see, if it were me, I'd go to the bakery. Oh man. Wait. Something to look up. You must be at the encyclopedia. Uh, bookstore, maybe? Ugh. Getting real heavy, lady. Um... look something up in a record shop if it's the other kind of record it's probably not about this rack no oh. <laughs> look something up Talk to the red haired kid three times searching Yahoo. Red haired kid. Oh, this kid? This crazy kid? And I'm starting to think maybe you don't mean this kid. Oh, there is a library. That's, uh, okay. Is that... There's a library. Oh, yeah. Isn't that this? Yeah. Even more delinquenty kid. <laughs> a man carrying a bag? Oh yeah, you don't forget a thing like that. Maybe he went looking for something to drink. Typical. Okay, the, okay, the delinquency kid, downtown, let's go delinquent hunting, also known as maverick hunting, Whoa. are you, are you he, nope, he's just an angry kid.
What's up, super kid? Pop machine. Hey, thank you for that follow. Ah. Didn't see a man who didn't look well. Wait, I did see a man who didn't look well buy some juice. But he didn't have a bag, though. He must have lost it before coming here. Man, this is basically doing Witcher 3 before Witcher 3. Going on wild goose chases across the entire world just to talk to people. Let's see. Um, what about you? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just walking around in circles. Just pacing here. Why don't you make me? He went running by real fast. He even ran into me. Ah, that's why you're mad. Oh, he's not a delinquent. He's mad that the guy was impolite. And he threw his litter away. I don't know where over there means unless you point. Is this it? Sweet. All right, now who can remember where the man was? Because I sure as hell do not. Uh, no, really, though. <laughs> where, oh, there's a police station thing. Right, 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 right. Uh, north. Seriously, I have the memory of a goldfish. It's getting bad. that guy or should I just return it to the detective your audio is delayed by 10 seconds you mean so the audio and video are out of sync just doing your job for you Arm supporter, sweet. Counting on me for what? Any more brain busters? Sweet. surpassed 50 follows. Thank you, everyone. Much appreciated. I mean, now Twitch will acknowledge me. Now, let me think. There must be... So I did the... There's still something I have to donate to the museum, I guess. And I don't have it. Pregnant lady is nowhere to be found. Uh, hospital girl is well. So that seems to be resolved. Uh, still some stuff presumably that I can give to roll, but I don't have it. Oh, I see. Go watch TV with Gramps in the flutter. 
think I did that briefly. If so, is there anything else from these side quests you can get that's like worth the trouble? Because if not, I think I've seen enough that I'm ready to like go for the main gate. Uh, Oh yeah, 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 the clubhouse. I have that uh thingy. Take me to the flutter. That's why I'm here. Oh, we're here. The Gramps TV side. Okay, obviously I didn't do everything I was supposed to do. Oh, the cat's here. I didn't even know about that one. I just stumbled upon this cat and got to keep it. You are ours now. I'm slowing down, my old age, Mega Man. Whoa. You can get a building full of serve bots? Wait, so how do you... Do you just turn the TV on and then... Ah. Holy crap. I don't envy the mayor her job. What with stuff like this happening all the time. So I guess I gotta go bust some heads. And caps. Dude, I would gladly let them build the building full of serve bots. What, what, that's what I would have spent the money on myself. What's up? Same old. Lead the way. Oh wait, I need to go up to... Uh, where's the bank again? Oh, it's uh, City Hall. Oh wait. Where are these guys? This one isn't timed, is it? I should have saved. Oh, it's the cards. Okay. Can't remember if I've done this one. Yeah, we doing A likely story. I mean, I know this is a small town, but these cops really aren't very good at anything.
It's like hot fuzz. Where are you? Stop! Stop it! Where did I hit the cop? That is a concern I hadn't considered. We better get out of here. That's right. We're innocent. We didn't do anything. Save it. Serve it. Stop the car. Why won't you listen to us? Nah, we were doing anything. This is some white knuckled stuff. Is this actually doing anything? Am I doing this right? Or am I supposed to like jump on it? I guess I could try that. Seems like a good way to get... Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Ow! <laughs> Ice cold. Full of cash. I don't think I've ever done this one. Sweet. All right, now let's go see the clubhouse. I never remember how I'm supposed to get there. Is it north north of here? Yeah, that looks right. Oh, I jump on that police car. I hadn't thought of that. Hey, dudes. Sorry I kept you waiting for like a dozen hours. So can I just... <laughs> so how does this work? Is it clock based or is it like event based? Uh, 20 minutes. It's annoying. Well, I probably should have done that one first instead of last. <laughs> oh well. 
Oh wait, so what about this building? I want to see the building with the servbots. Uh, are they building a jail? Is that the deal? Servbot jail. Hmm. Interesting. I think we might have a broken record. By the library. This, one, this was here. Is it this? Empty house. I haven't been paying very close attention to what else has been here. Another empty house. Oh, Stripe Burger. Hey, Rockman Trigger. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, we're, we've been knocking out the side stuff. Having a good time. Man, yeah, I've never seen this. This is cool, but I don't see the servbots They're behind this thing. Can I go in here? I could be an employee. Ah. Oh. Will they take my order? Can I kick this? No. Man. That's a great little Easter egg. So look at all the trouble they went to for something that most players wouldn't even see. It's one of the things about this game that's so great. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and make for the main gate. Uh, see if I can knock this out in the next hour, because I, I gotta run after that. Thanks so much. Looking forward to a nice fair fight. Oh wait, we're here, right? Right, at long last. 
operate. I have the keys. Am I not? A manual override, so you gotta. Set the thing at the bottom. I'm a little fuzzy. Excellent. It reads sleeper. The third door. What does this one say? Dreamer? Well, it should be the last one. Oh, yeah. What's happening to me? This is the first time I've ever Bean. been here, but I feel like Again? I've seen this before. Are these Something real pronunciations that happen here. somewhere? This shouldn't be opened. Was it you who awoke me? It is somewhat earlier than I had planned, but no matter. He brings us love. Get him. Thank you for awakening me. Hmm. Have we met before? Oh, please forgive me. You are a purifier model. Assigned to the direct command of Mother, as I recall, you were designated Mega Man Trigger. Please forgive me. I did not recognize you in your current configuration. You... you know me? You don't remember? Ah, I see. You have suffered memory loss, yes? Then for what purpose have you awakened me? I assume... That your reason for coming here is to purge the carvings that have overpropagated during the time I was in. You ever notice Catalog's Island is shaped like Airman's mouth? What are you talking about? What does that mean? Security Ordinance A10. The number of carving units is not allowed to increase beyond the pre-specified limit. If this happens, they are to be purged immediately. My observation, if left unattended, the carvings will reproduce indefinitely. Their numbers will grow. Polluting the surface world, they can be quite a nuisance. Carvings? Do you mean the people on the island? The carvings fit mass population model B. They are unstable, very difficult to control. Perhaps it would be better to simply reinitialize. Reinitialize? Well, I haven't understood much of what you've been saying, but when you say reinitialize, do you mean no? Huh? 
Whoa. This is quite the property. It would be much simpler if I had the assistance of a proficient human, such as yourself. Once my task is complete, I shall inquire as to the presence of a backup of your memory on Just as BBD said, don't Please trust a big button to smile. Yes, until then. What? A... <laughs> Did you hear that, Diesel? Something tells me he's not kidding either. I really think he plans to kill everyone on the island. Diesel, we've got to do something. We've got to stop him. Hmm, that's easier said than done. Besides, do you think we could beat him? Well, um, what about Mega Man? Hmm, I don't like it, but I can't think of anything better, so... Oh, here's a problem. Hey, Trump! How do you stop this thing? Oh, this? Like this! Mega Man, are you all right? Uh... Thanks... for your help. Come on, hurry up! He's getting away! Right. It's not over between you and me. I won't forgive you if you die or anything stupid like that, so be careful in there, okay? Right. See you later. Don't worry, Tron. If anyone can do it, he can. I know. Poor Tron, just so vulnerable. Uncharted territory for all involved. Said maybe Juno. Hey. That's a mula. Beautiful. at the map here. Uh, okay, yeah, this is where you would want to tap out for spoilers, but sorry, sorry you had a rough day. Hope tomorrow's better. Appreciate you tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> 
data. Man, is he a sight for sore eyes. I love that. Okay, here goes. Hold on to your butts. I don't remember how this fight works. Hmm. It appears I miscalculated the odds of your ability to escape that trap. You are, however, too late. Eden was activated as soon as I entered this room. It cannot be deactivated as long as I, the master key of this island, remain here in this control room. All that remains now is to wait for Eden to enter transmission range and send the command to execute the reinitialization of this island. Man, this is cool. Once that command is received, the 10,000 workers aboard Eden will execute it immediately. My estimates indicate their work will be completed in less than five minutes. Now that Eden has been activated, any further interference from you will remain on file, thus tarnishing my operating record. Fortunately, you are suffering from memory loss and fragmentation. Therefore, as keeper of this island, I hereby exercise my prerogative of correctional dispensation. Prerogative of correctional? What? Allow me to rephrase. I will exercise my authority to terminate your program. Ready? Okay, this is almost certainly going to be a throwaway run while I try and learn as many of the attack patterns as I can. Whoa. And there's two phases. I think. See. Can't remember if he has two health bars or if he just changes his attacks midway through or if I'm completely wrong. Now. Ready? Ready? 
Oof. I used it all, didn't I? Yeah. Well, alright. But that doesn't seem that bad. I'm glad I packed the uh, active buster. It's pretty cool that they give you a save point right outside, too. Buster is too slow to be viable unless you have like a wide opening. Ready? Defend yourself. Which makes me think maybe I should I should go for attack power. I don't really need range. Jumping at me. Ready? Oh. About halfway. Ready? Time to get serious. Ah, oh, okay. Something bad happening. This isn't so bad. But this shining laser when it's fully upgraded is basically like skips the fight. Oh shit. Okay. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Alright. Ah, I even saw that one coming, I just didn't. Kind of right. Ready? Come on, a couple more zaps. Good. My, my. It would appear that I have made an error. Excellent. No! 
Oh yeah, there is another phase. Terminating my life support subroutine functions, but do not be disappointed. It appears it will take longer than anticipated for Eden to reach its optimal altitude. If you can terminate me before then, you will be able to stop it. Assuming you are capable of deactivating me. What? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> you ever seen the movie Zadam? The animated movie. Kind of reminds me of that design. Like a big hulking beast with like a placid ready? human face in the middle. You see that design quite a bit in Japan. That type of design. Oops. Uh. Alright, I'm just gonna circle straight for the win here and hope that's viable. And stay on the perimeter. Oh! Okay. Didn't see that one coming. Ah, I knew that was going to happen too. Whoa. Are you ready? Oh, I don't like you. The telegraph for the swipe is really, really short. I got it that time. I don't think I can get it every time. Okay, it's not that short. Activating his face. Whoa! Oh god. Oh come on. I think you would advise to finish Death Stranding. I yeah, I mean, I had a great time with it. I uh, hmm. Yeah, that was not a bad first try. I gotta say. Yeah, I don't know if you did. You see me talking about it earlier? Um, I I, I got really into it. Um, I think in part thanks to the quarantine situation because the game feels very very relevant now and it's also just a good zone out game so I ended up platinum platinuming it which is something I am not in the habit of doing I've that was my second platinum ever and the, my first platinum ever was only like a month before that with uh, Sekiro um, but yeah I think Death Stranding was great I, I mean I don't know if I w could recommend platinuming it to everyone but uh certainly finishing it and uh you know it's like oh there's a lot of stuff 
kind of like in this game, there's a lot of stuff that you don't see on the critical path. Uh, so like, if nothing else, the Platinum Challenge did uh, allow me to see like all the side stuff, a lot of which was very cool. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't think it's for everyone, but I think if you like thoughtful games that are thought-provoking, you know, and, um, and that use the interactive medium in interesting ways, which Kojima games tend to do, I think that it definitely fits that description. It's also just... Um, a technical marvel, you know, like the game is gorgeous. Whoa. And it does lots of cool things in engine Ready? that I wouldn't have thought possible. Ready? Ready? Oops. Ugh. I'm not happy about that. Ready? Oh, you know what? I gotta I gotta re redo the buster. I should if I don't make it on this run I gotta save over that. Okay, this phase is basically got it downloaded. It's not bad. Ready? Oof. That was not worth it. I was gonna see if I could like fire off a bunch of active buster shots at the very start. It's not even doing decent damage. I think it's weaker than the regular buster. Maybe I should try another weapon. If I don't make it this time, of course. Which I'm sure I will. I, I mean, I didn't really learn how to avoid that one super attack he does when you've taken his health down. Ah, sh
Ah, oh, crap. I forgot about that one. Uh, the B. So you just run. It's an AoE and then you just run. Oh! AoE. <laughs> Alright. You clicked into my social media. Got to your got to the mountaintop part. Donated materials to the road. And somehow overnight I received a hundred thousand likes. It's very scary to me. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I wrote a bunch about Death Stranding. Um I mean you just spend so much time with something, it's bound to stay on your mind for a while. But it's uh Yeah, the the thing about everyone working together to maintain the infrastructure in the environment is a really compelling idea to me and um there's a bunch of stuff in uh, Death Stranding that uh, um, is reminiscent of stuff in Dragon's Dogma a lot of the like asynchronous co-op stuff like working together with people that you haven't met and can't see um, is it's a really compelling thing, and there's a little bit of that in Near Automata as well. And especially now, in this quarantine period, uh, I think it's it's sort of like a poetic thing to experience in a game you know like we're it's basically what we're living and especially like uh the importance of uh delivery people in in this the game world uh it just feels very I mean, it's almost like you know it feels almost too on the nose now except that it predates <laughs> it's like a, a game about a thing that it predates so i guess it just means it uh once again, Kojima has predicted the future. This has to be the easiest uh, final boss in Mega Man history, though. I can't remember what the Legends 2 final boss was. It's no Dr. Wily though. Ah. Yeah, it's not even worth using the active buster. I feel like I should switch that out. Maybe the... Whatever that, like, bazooka is. And you get a lot of hits when it does that super attack. dangerous attack here, I think. Oh, oh. And that's his biggest opportunity. Oh. Turn it in. Good.
That's a good point about the rules Americans are not following. Yeah, it's like... Um, it just feels so much more meaningful now that we're, like, so many aspects of the game feel so similar to what we're all experiencing. <laughs> and yet, for me, it was sort of escapism anyway, because it's, it's a guy who's having weirdly tranquil moments in that situation. And also the game is really, really positive. Like, you'll notice that people give you, they dole out so much praise every time you do anything. And it's like, you're just doing these like menial tasks and people treat you like a superhero. Uh, and they're not wrong for doing so. Uh, but it's just, I mean, especially uh, in, in like Kojima games are not always like that. Um, they're often quite harsh. Whoa. Oh no, I thought it was going to say that. running this way. Because he does that attack. Oof. Okay, it was good. Uh, Next time he does that, I think I'll have it down. If he does it again, he might not get the chance. All right. All right. Yeah, it's been much the same case here where people were taking it. It seemed like they took it seriously for a while, and now everyone's just kind of like, eh, I'm tired of caring. Let's just act like there is no pandemic. It's like, well, it's not getting better. It's getting much worse. I take walks, and almost no one's wearing a mask. It's shocking. Look at these poor people. This is Mega Man Juno. Bureaucratic model third class. Authorization number 8677. Requesting a reinitialization of this island's systems and a memory backup of its bureaucratic systems. Stop! Stop it! If you wish to shoot me, please do not hesitate. My program has already been backed up in Eden's central core. I eagerly await my next activation. Eden systems ready, awaiting activation. Requested backup of bureaucratic model Mega Man Juno complete. Execution of Kakarot's reinitialization program will commence in 100 seconds. What 
should I do? Wait, this game, this has a post game? I forgot about that. <laughs> Data sounds just like roll. Actually, it sounds more like Tron. There's nothing to worry about anymore, Mega Man. Everything should return to normal shortly. Do you know who I am? I'm your peripheral memory storage device. You originally created me so your memory couldn't be scanned by Mother 2. I can't tell you anything yet. But soon I'll be able to tell you everything. What you are, why you lost your memory, your original function, and mission. Mega Man! Mega Man! <laughs> Blasted contraption! It's always breaking down at the worst time! Mega Man, are you alright? Yep, I'm just fine. Gramps and I were working on the radio forever, but couldn't get it to work. Mega Man, you won't believe what we saw! I'm glad these old eyes of mine lasted long enough to see it. Yeah, I feel like Data doesn't sound like you expect him to sound. Ever since... Huh? Mega Man? Are you alright? Oh, it's nothing. Really. I'm sorry that I scared you. You're always running off like that, making me worry myself sick over you. But somehow, I know you'll always make it back. I have faith in you. Thanks. See you soon. Data, let's go. E -e -e. Ready? Mega Man? Ready. Oh. Man, I forgot all about this. Is, so wait, is there a new game plus where you can keep all your weapons and stuff?
I, I could still be an honorary member of the gang. It's really a lot of money for kicking a can into someone's business. Aww. You know, I think Mother 3 does something like this, where, like, the game ends with you getting a chance to say goodbye to all, every character in town. I never actually beat it. I got close, though. find a streamer who isn't speedrunning it. I mean, yeah, you know, I wasn't planning to, like, linger on the side stuff, but, um, once you put the bug in my ear, it kind of, like, I kind of realized that it was, it would be a shame not to even, like, you know, dip a toe in it, you know? That's kind of a big part of the charm of this series. I'm not like a speedrun guy in general though. There's a certain type of game where watching speedruns is really cool, like Mega Man Zero. People who are good at Mega Man Zero blow my mind. Like, kind of not really about New Game Plus. If you beat it in under five hours, you'll unlock easy mode, which allows you to keep your health in jet skates. Well, that's kind of cool. But you'll unlock. Why would you? But that's weird that you have to beat the game in under five hours to unlock the easy mode. I guess it's like the victory lap thing. But you'll unlock hard mode if you beat it with any finish time, and you'll and the, then you'll. Un I see. Still, that's kind of weird. It's like, well, if you've beaten it on hard mode. The artist. Sweet. Thanked by Dr. Wiley. Fiction has become fact. Okay, well, thanks so much for tuning in and for all your tips. Couldn't have done it without you. Uh, no more burgers. Have a great night. I'll be streaming again probably each weeknight this week. Now I'm a household name, you see that? So is there anything to do uptown? Can I go talk to my uptown girl in a wheelchair? Oh wait, she can walk now. Oh, okay. So it's just this area, I guess. What about City Hall? I guess the mayor's with roll. All right, I'm just going to go back.
secret tunnel to the other side of Apple Market. Ooh. Oh, the sewer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I stumbled on that last time. I guess I could have taken that, but that's fine. Oh. Well, that's no reason to stay. You'll just have to do your job. You built your dream house. Oh wait, where was that? Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Maybe we'll fly over it. Oh, sweet little kitties. Super detailed NPC in Legends 2. Yeah, they, they may have been. Uh, well, I don't know. There may have been some self indulgent fantasizing stuck in there. Okay. They tend to do that. I'll definitely have to replay that one sometime soon. I think after. Legends. I want to play through Blood Will Tell. It's a PS2 game. That was my second highest voted game. when I did a poll on Twitter. And it's one I've been wanting to revisit for a long time. But then maybe after that I'll uh, go back to Legends 2. Okay, have a good night.
And that's Mega Man Legends, one of the uh, my volume, sorry about that. One of the best games of all time. I'm just gonna say it. And I think this is one of the best games. And I think that uh, it's not really a Mega Man game. It's not really a Mega Man game, but that's good. <laughs> In this man, Yoshinori Kawano, underrated creator. Oh, he was also the milieu designer. But, um, Shinkuro Sawa, I think I remember that guy. <laughs> yeah, um, Just a great game all around. It's very charming. It has aged tremendously well. Uh, and it had one and a half great sequels. So for those still here, I think I'm going to, because after this there's a watch party for uh, what is the movie? Gotcha. Summer, uh, Laser Time's doing a watch party of uh, Back to School, the 80s classic. So I'm going to attempt to raid them if I can. I've never raided before. seamlessly join them. They haven't, I don't think they've started yet though, so... We'll see. Yes, an 80s watch along. Hey, Ross Alfie. I haven't seen this movie actually, but I'm, I'm d I mean, it's it's late here, but I'm I'm down to chill and watch for a while. Oh, uh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this raid. Not that there's a ton of people still here, but it's a proof of concept. Thank you all for tuning in. I will be back each weeknight this week with more. Uh, I'm, I think for the time being, I'm sticking with 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 uh, Pacific. So I'll see you again very soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna start streaming Blood Will Tell tomorrow, barring any disasters. Okay, till then then, have a good one. Hey, Troy!
use spare parts from everything he blew up to build this. That's right, that's right. We'll just have to rough it until we get to the next island. If we sell what we found, we'll get back what we lost, and then some. We'll live like kings. Who would have thought there was such a huge refractor down there? And all we had to do was just wander in and pick it up. I told you we'd have the last laugh. <laughs> That's assuming we make it to the next island without sinking. Oh well, at least he's in a good mood. <laughs>